You know, I got to say, I'm so proud of Cheryl to have her as a friend and to what she is doing to help uh, the whole area of sex trafficking, getting these young girls, young boys out. Uh, she serves with a ministry called Ratnak, as you know, and we're partnering with that here at Crossroads. That's just a part of what we're doing. It's not just about putting a television show on every day. It's a television show that means something. That's why we come to you at this time to say we need your help so we can continue to shine light into some very, very dark areas. Now, all this week we're talking about overcoming, and my guest is a young lady that knows all about that. 17-year-old Elizabeth Banducci was not going to let surgery on her knee slow her down for a passion for swimming. But it's not only swimming that matters to her, something that Cheryl was just talking about, and we'll deal with that in a moment. Elizabeth from Brantford, Ontario, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so swimming. I understand you were really young. How young were you when you first got into the pool? Uh, six months old. <laughs> six months old, because you can't remember that. So, you, so as far as you can remember in your past, you've been a swimmer. Yeah, all, for the, as long as I can remember. What, what is it about swimming that you like? Um, I don't know. It's just I love being in the water, and like I feel like a sense of accomplishment. And it's like, I, I don't know, I've just always been at peace in the water. And you're good at it, too. Yeah. <laughs> so by the time you're 14, you're in this really good swimming club, and you're having some issue with your knee, you go to the doctor, and what do they tell you? Um, actually, we went to a lot of doctors and they couldn't find it at first, but um, we eventually found a tumor in my knee. And it was, it was small, but it was, it was benign too, but it mm. was pushing the kneecap off the track. So often I would go to training, but I couldn't do what everyone else was doing. And I would often leave the pool with crutches because I couldn't bend my leg. Well, you're totally an overcomer. You were going to let a little me <laughs> thing stop you. So you, now you've got this incredible goal. Yeah. Swim across Lake Erie. That's 20 kilometers. How did that come about? Um, I did my first open water race when I was 13 years old, and I actually really liked it. I loved open water swimming right from the get-go when I tried it, but um, I didn't really pursue my my want to do it until I started working at Embrace Aquatic Center in uh, Brampton and my boss uh, Miguel Vidillo swam across Lake Ontario mm -hmm. and he coached a lot of open water swimmers and triathletes and he saw me swimming and he was like oh you should try open water swimming and I was like that's crazy because after I had my surgery it slowed me down and I hadn't been the same as a swimmer for two years but I got back into swimming, just training a little bit, and I really liked it. And then he kept talking to me about all these inspirational people who swim across lakes for fundraisers. And I wanted to swim across the lake, but I knew that I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel good about doing it just for nothing. And, oh, okay, yeah. so you've had, you've had a couple of tries so far. The weather has to be perfect. Hopefully this weekend you're going to do it. But you're not doing it just to accomplish something, which is amazing. Uh, but it's for an organization that works getting people out of the sex trafficking. Yeah. Tell me about Defend Dignity. So I, I've been passionate about this cause for a really long time because it, we sweep it under the rug. We have a feeling that it's not happening around us. Um, but... 60% of sex trafficking in Canada is actually happening in the GTA, and that's where I live. And I realized that I did some more research, and the common age for these girls are between the ages of 14 and 16. And I was like, I'm around that's that age. Right. So I found Defend Dignity, and I really loved what they did with these girls. They raise, aware they raise money for awareness and aid in sex trafficking, for victims of sex trafficking. And they take these girls out and they make like these care packages with the, these girls are often coming out and these victims are coming out with nothing to come back to. So we give them soap, uh, clothes, necessities, and we try to pay for therapy and rehabilitation and to give them a better life. Okay, we're out of time, Elizabeth, but how can people support you? Um, you can go to defenddignity.ca and there will be a little place where it says Lake Erie Crossing and you can read my story and donate there. Thank you for sharing. You are an inspiration, and we'll be following you in the news. Thank you. I, I hope they lead off on the weekend with that, that you cross Lake Erie. Thanks so thank so you so much. That's why we want to continue to tell these great stories, people like Elizabeth that are overcoming. And with your suggested gift of $45, we want to get you the book, Overcomer, Here's How.